Even with today's high-efficiency wood-burning appliances, creosote buildup in the chimney is still an issue. In fact, it may be even more of a problem because so much heat is extracted from the fuel's combustion that creosote deposits can form on the chimney liner. And that's not good because creosote buildup can lead to potentially life-threatening chimney fires down the road. Here are some hints to help minimize the risk. First, have your chimney inspected at least once per year and cleaned if necessary. Second, allow sufficient inlet air into your stove to let the combustion temperature reach about 1100 degrees at least a couple of times a day so that creosote forming gases are burned off. Third, give the stove a 10 to 15 minute hot burn each day to consume any thin coating of creosote that may have formed yesterday. Don't do this if you are unsure just how much creosote buildup is in your chimney. Fourth, when starting your daily fire, open the air inlet at least halfway to get the combustion chamber up to temperature. Turn it back once the stove is well warmed. Fifth, avoid overfeeding the stove. Loading smaller logs or splits more often will help keep the combustion temperature up. Sixth, when burning wet wood, open the stove's air supply to help fuel a drying fire and then turn it back. Wet wood doesn't make creosote, but it does produce less heat, which can lead to creosote formation. Heating with wood is a joy. Take a little time to understand how creosote forms and your joy will also be completely safe.